Hey guys, this is Mr. A. Chrissy here, and today's the 30th anniversary of Home Alone. Yep, that's right. On this day in 1990, Home Alone came out in theaters. Happy 30th anniversary. It's been exactly 30, 30 years since, since, the, since the very first Home Alone movie came out on, on November 16th, 1990, which was exactly 30 years ago. Like, can you not believe that? Can you not believe it's been, it's been 30 years since the very first Home Alone movie was released? Yeah, that long ago, 30 years. But yeah, so I've always, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I've always loved Home Alone ever, ever since I first watched it. And Home Alone is Home Alone is also one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. And it, 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 but not only that, it's also one of my favorite movies of all time as well. Yeah, because this movie stars Macaulay Culkin as Kevin, also stars um, Daniel Stern and, and Joe Pesci as as Harry and Marv. Yeah, this movie also has John Hurd and Catherine O'Hara. Like Catherine O'Hara plays the mother, and and yeah, and, and of course you know, and and of course like, and of course Harry, Harry and Marvel were were both were both like very funny villains, of course. Like yeah, you know, always falling for for Kevin's booby traps. Like we we all know the booby traps. Like you know, <laughs> like you know, we all know the booby traps. Like near the end of the movie, where that Harry and Marv fall for, like getting injured, and yeah, for for a comedy humor. <laughs> and there's and there's also one that, like, like at the very beginning where. Where where where. It's it's like where 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 Marv P peeks out of the door out of the door flap and 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 Kevin goes hello and then shoots Marv in the face like yeah hello <laughs> ah <laughs> yeah because because this this movie's just very hilarious and Home Alone's been one of my favorites uh, since the beginning and yeah. It, even even Chris Columbus Chris Columbus does a a really a very good job directing this movie, and John Hughes does a good job working on this movie too, especially John Williams. John Williams composes the music score for this movie, and his music score is very beautiful and it's very well done too. Yeah, because because there's like a lot to say about Home Alone, and plus there's also a sequel that came out in 1992, which was two years later. They did they did a sequel called Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. And I think Lost in New York is definitely a very hilarious sequel to Home Alone. Yeah, because, yeah, with the returning cast members and Chris Columbus returns to direct. I mean, and, and there are some, and, and it did get a, a bunch of other sequels too, but Home Alone 3 I thought was mediocre. It's, it's not as good as the, as the first two Home Alone movies, but, but I, I, because I, but I think that that was kind of I think I think some people think that was kind of before Home Alone went downhill with the right before the franchise went downhill because because Macaulay Culkin was not in it and and they and, and they weren't directed by Chris Columbus they were actually replaced and the cast members were, were were replaced by other actors and and actresses and 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 the and, and there and there's been many re director replacements too because I I just think the first two Home Alone movies are the best ones Home Alone three. Kind of mediocre, not as good as the first two Home Alone movies, but it's kind of mediocre at best. Yeah, but but yeah, so 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 I I've always loved Home Alone, and Home Alone will always be will always be my 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 one one of my favorite movies of all time. And of course, and of course, nowadays. Nowadays, some some people some people have you know how some people have different opinions. Well, there are some people out there who may not like Home Alone and just like the the Will Ferrell Christmas movie Elf. Because I because I because I know nowadays like nowadays I think people 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 don't really like Elf and and Home Alone for 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 some reasons. Because there are some reasons because people are entitled to their own opinions and like an unpopular opinion, and so. And so, because I think one reason, one reason why people, some people nowadays think think Home Alone, they they don't like Home Alone, is because home, because they think that Home Alone can be considered mean spirited as well. Probably because there's a, there's a scene in the first Home Alone movie where 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 Buzz where Buzz blames Kevin on like you know like many things. You know, you know, Buzz like like Kevin's older brother. Yeah, and Devin, Ray, De I thought Devin Ray Trey does a pretty good job. Like, it, it does a pretty decent job in the movie. Yeah, and then of course, and then of course, the final line in the first movie, Kevin, what did you do to my room? Yeah, and then it causes Kevin to run off. Yeah.
But yeah, so even the first Home Alone movie also has John Candy as well. John Candy was, was John Candy appears in the first Home Alone movie like during during like during the almost like near the end of the near the end of the movie, of course. Like before, you know, I think it was before the booby trap sequence. But yeah, so I love everything about the first Home Alone movie. It's it's hilarious. It's it's well made. Yeah. And plus it's got really good acting and very very great acting and and good direction and it's e it's even very well paced too. And and also and also I I I I also remember have having a, a having a, a Kevin toy as well, a Kevin that makes that scream sound. Yeah. And also from from Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, I I I also used I also remember having a Talkboy pen, like you know, a Talkboy pen that records. I bet it's kind of similar to, you know, like kind it kind of reminds me of the Kara pen from Zootopia, but but yeah, so I remember having the Talkboy pen back back in the day. And because you know, the Talkboy is like this little recording device where where that Kevin uses in Home Alone 2 Lost in New York where he uses this recording device called the Talkboy and and of course, he records his voice, and then and then and then once it's recorded, it's because the the, the talk boy can change its voice, whether it's like low pitched, like to, to make it sound more like an adult. Yeah, because, but of course, the but of course the, the regular talk boy is, is like is like very nostalgic. It's also very old too, because you because 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 it, it can record cassette tapes as well, and cassette tapes don't really exist anymore because as we go forward in technology, because. I mean, even though you can still you can still find talk boys on eBay, but they might get pretty pricey, and then and then it just doesn't hold up by today's standards because by today's technology standards because yeah because you know we things change in technology as we go forward in technology where where you know VHSs die out we got DVDs and Blu-rays, but I think sometime in the future I think DVDs will become a thing of the past and I think they'll be able to join VHS tapes. Because I think soon enough, DVDs will probably be like VHS tapes since we got Blu-rays and 4K Ultra HDs now. And of course, nowadays we got people downloading movies and that they don't really they don't really need to buy their Blu-rays or DVDs, whatever. But yeah, guys, so... So anyway, so... So I think that's all there is to say for that's all there is to say for this for this very special 30th anniversary video for Home Alone. And so... With that being said, happy 30th anniversary to Home Alone. And so that's going to be it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure to like this video. And there you have it, guys. We're going to wrap this video up. And, and until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.